Welcome to the Fantasy Thinker. I'm Jared Quartermanch, and this is my March updates. So, what have I been up to? All right, so in February, I finished off uh, Stephen R. Donaldson's The Killing Guard, book three in The Great God's War, which was outstanding. I finished off in February uh, Norse Mythology, volume three graphic novel. Uh, by Neil Gaiman, which was great. And recently, in the early March here, I have finished off Stoner by John Williams, a really great novel. Just did a review on that, so you can uh, check out reviews on all of those um, on my channel. So, what am I reading currently? Uh, still making my way through Janie Wirtz, uh, The Curse of the Mist Wraith. And um, I'm about three quarters of the way through here of this uh, huge chunker of a novel here. Um, this is a uh, classic slow burn of a book. And uh, her writing and her prose are absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's an archaic style. And I am uh, enjoying immensely this, this novel, uh, but I'm also taking my time with it and really just letting it sink in and uh it's a beautiful piece of work and so i'll be continuing that um a couple hundred pages to go so it shouldn't be too much longer um and of course i never read one thing at a time because that's how my brain works so i am also continuing my reread of the Mausen empire and that includes right now Return of the Crimson Guard by Ian Esselmont. Um, I've got about, oh, two, this sounds familiar, 200 pages left to go in this one as I uh, continue my journey through the whole reread of the Mal Malazan Empire. Um, kind of a suggested reading order from the Malazan Wiki page and enjoying that a lot. I have also started my um, current self-published foray, A Touch of Light by Chiago Abdalla. And um, this has got a lot of good reviews here on BookTube. And I finally got to start sinking my teeth into this one. I'm only about 70 pages in or so, but um, so far so good. Enjoying that a lot. And I uh, can't wait to get more into it. Um, so, you know, I plan on doing uh, a self-published book, uh, you know, at least have one going in my rotation of books here um, all the time. And uh, also, we have my continuing um, foray into comics versus prose as I got assassin's apprentice number three and so i'll be continuing on in assassin's apprentice by robin hobb and i'll be continuing on following along the monthly release of this series um in the book itself uh this is a little late this time because there was a huge shipping snafu and i actually didn't get this thing to like three weeks later so hopefully I'll get my uh, next episode of Comics vs. Prose out with issue number three. And number four should be following quickly along because um, number four, I think, actually arrived today in my mailbox. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll be glad to be caught up with that. And um, so that's everything I'm reading right now. Uh, upcoming stuff. Once I am done with um, Return of the Crimson God, I plan on moving into Reaper's Gale in my uh, Malazan journey of the reread. So I'm uh, looking forward to that a lot. Looking forward to getting back to some of uh, Erickson's writing, which I love so much. And also this month, I think around the 21st or so, um, will be the release of philip chase's the way of adan which i believe everybody on here on book two release is reading uh so we're having this 
huge read along, I suppose. And I did pre-order the um, the uh, ebook version uh, so that I can have it earlier. You know, I can start reading on on uh, uh, Kindle app. And um, but I'll also be ordering the the, uh, the paperback version as well when that's available. Uh, so that's that's cool. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and uh, so. As far as what I plan to continue with once I'm done, one of these uh, other books, uh, you know, with uh, especially Curse of the Mist Wraith, um, I was considering maybe getting the second one in that series, or maybe I could um, delve into one of the other books that um, I have on my want to read list. I have a whole bunch of stuff on my want to read list, and these are stuff that I'll probably um, go through my local library to get. Um, you know, I, I'm looking at maybe Joe Abercrombie, The Blade Itself, the start that first law series that everybody raves about. Uh, I also am very interested in Glenn Cook's The Black Company. Um, and I've also, because I've read uh, some of other Glenn Cook stuff, the instrumentalities of immortality, I believe. I think that's what the series was called, and that was pretty cool. But um, a lot of people um, recommend Black Company uh, very highly, and uh, Glenn Cook was an inspiration on Steven Erickson, so that that's something I might want to start. Um, I also might want to start the King Crit Killer Chronicles uh, by uh, Patrick. Rothfuss, and that's another highly recommended one. Um, also, the Gentleman Bastard series by Scott Lynch is highly recommended, uh, and uh, Gene Wolf, uh, the Book of the New Sun, is highly recommended. I'm interested in that. Um, the Red Rising Saga, I'm interested in by P.S. Brown. I'm also interested in the Prince of Nothing series by R. Scott Baker. And uh, I would be interested in some humor, too, some uh, little Terry Pratchett, maybe small gods, a standalone type of stuff. So all that stuff is on my radar, uh, stuff that I would like to uh, check out at some points. Uh, so that is um, my March update so far. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll be getting to reviews in uh you know, maybe some uh, discussions about all those books that I'm reading right now. And uh, hopefully I can uh, get a uh, another issue of Comics versus Prose out very soon here, number three. All right. Thank you and be good to each other. <laughs>